Hi everybody, it's Michelle from TravelingLadybug.blogspot.com. Um, I have some cards that I made for Operation Right Home. You can go to their website at www.operationrighthome.org. The first one I have is a Mother's Day card. They have a deadline for Mother's Day cards. They would like it if we could get them in by March 31st. So that's the first one. These flowers are made from the secret garden uh, from Stampin' Up. There's a die, and then there's the stamp, I'm sorry, there's a stamp, and then there's a die. Uh, my hands are not so great for cutting, so I like to buy the stamps that have the dies. So there's the first one, and here's the second one, because I have two moms. Um, here's one for true love. It's kind of valentines -y, uh, but, you know, they we, we send cards all the time. Say love. I'm not so good at this video thing. Okay. So here's one. I did a card with butterflies, and they posted it on the Facebook page for Operation Right Home, and everybody loved it. And I just thought this was a really cute idea, too. And there's some stickles that I covered in glossy accents, because glitter is a no-no for Operation Right Home. I turned this one. Uh, the glitter's a no-no because the glitter can be seen in night vision goggles for the soldiers, because these are going to the soldiers to write in, because see the insides are blank, they're going to write in them and then send them home to their families. So I just turned that one on its side. I have one, I love these little owls. I, uh, I'm i going to be like giving a shout out to a lot of websites <laughs> because I like to shop online. I live at Fort Leonard Wood in Missouri, so there's nothing to shop for around here. But uh, this paper came from scrapbook dot com that's b u c k buck instead of scrapbook um, and their papers were twenty nine cents a page and if you spend more than twenty dollars you get free shipping so I had to show off that pretty paper there's like polka dots and then there's big circles in this one I thought it kind of looked like a moon and then who loves you haha -ha. and the punch is a Stampin' Up punch I made another one with just one owl and again, there's the, looks like a moon in the background. I'm not sure what the green one would be. These, these trees are from Simon Says Stamps, Simon Says Stamp .com. It's a memory box die, and I love this. And what I did with the negative space, I'm going to reach out of the picture for just a second. The, um, I cut these out of brown paper, as you can see. But what I did with the actual scrap paper that was left over is I put blue on the back side and then did that and I'm going to make a card out of that. So just, you know, an, an idea for you. And here's some, this is from the Secret Garden stamp set again. And there's just four little flowers and then one is popped up as you can see right there. It says, you're so special to me. And like I said, my hands are not so great at, at cutting and, and tying bows and things. So... I made this little loop and just tacked it underneath there and there's one on both sides to make up for having bows. This I'm not so far not so in love with. It's just like it looks like a sneeze card to me, like Sandy would call it. Sandy is the president of our operation right home. And there's another one of those. It's washi tape. And there's washi tape run down the side too. I think this is Martha Stewart. Yeah. Um just a little happy birthday popped on some foam. And these colors, oh gosh, I love these colors. This is washi tape. I um, can't remember where I got this. Oh, I got this from, uh, it's a Facebook page called Scrapbook Hoarders Anonymous. And I got this, I think, from a lady named Dawn. Yeah. And then it's just washi tape adhered to the paper and then cut out. It says happy birthday. This is a birthday card for a little boy. I'm not so great at making boy cards because my my kids are both girls and they're older now. So I'm trying to focus on masculine cards because, like I said, I'm not so great at making them. Uh, this die cut is a Cricut cut. And at the Cricut Craft Room, every, every month, I do believe, they have uh, free cuts. And this was a free cut. And then this is a memory box die that I cut out. <laughs> it looked like this in blue and then I just cut them out and glued them on I made three of those because when you're on a roll you know 
Okay, so this paper is from scrapbook.com too. And it's like I said, I'm trying to focus on masculine cards. And I don't know if you can tell, it's gridded paper and then the stripes and then some brown ribbon from ribboncarousel.com. Like I said, I'm going to do a lot of shout outs because I shop online. There's another one of those. This one I saw the idea on Pinterest, Pinterest.com. <laughs> uh, just a little, it's, this is actually a brown grocery bag from the commissary, from the grocery store that I folded into an envelope. And then these are the beautiful wings embosslets from Stampin' Up! And then an embossing folder, some lace, Martha Stewart lace, and then Fisker's die punch, border punch. And again, look. There's some brown paper bag, making some layers. Another one of those. And this is from The Secret Garden too. Just the flowers. The stamp set is Hero Arts, and it's actually an Operation Right Home stamp set. So, and then one of them's like popped up right there. You see that. I promise guys I'm gonna get my nails done. Okay, so this one, <laughs> It's just like a smorgasbord or something. It's just a little bit of everything. Uh, this little fairy is from Creative Memories from years and years ago. My daughter is now 17 and I got this when she was a baby. Um, this is a die. Let me look real quick. I know, I know, I hate when people don't have their stuff together and they make videos. But this one is... Oh, it's a Spellbinders. Duh. Okay, so it's a Spellbinders die. I don't have a circle cutter, circle cutting die or whatever, so I use my Cricut. Uh, there's those beautiful wings and bosslets. Some gorgeous ribbon from ribboncarousel.com. This is not brown paper bag. This is a Pop-Tart box. Yeah. And then, oh, I hate that too when somebody's phone goes off and they're making a video. Anyway, and then it's bordered in purple, and I kind of use some Tim Holtz Distressing Ink. Uh, seedless preserves to do that so yeah and here's one more this is gonna be my last one I have a whole box over to the side but um I just thought I'd do these most recent ones first this to me it's a sketch from operation right home but I think <laughs> but it looks kind of plain and I don't know anyway this I did that um oh gosh I don't know what it's called all of a sudden. Anyway, uh, I stamped the flowers from the Secret Garden Stampin' Up. I stamped that in clear Versamark, put clear powder, embossing powder, heated that, and then used my distressing tool to just rub some color in there. And um, that's how it came out. And I think on this one you can see, I make two, almost, almost two of everything. Um, that one you can see the colors a little better. And on the back of every card that I make, I put a stamp with my <laughs> with my website, traveling without a G, ladybug.blogspot.com. And if I can, I'll see if I can up, you know, put that in the little link things down below. And that's it. Again, my name is Michelle, and thanks for watching.